And Carrie, that warm weather, of course, continues today. It's still bringing a lot of concern when it comes to fire danger. Absolutely. I mean, this is going to continue as our temperatures stay hot. Our vegetation is going to be very dry. And now we have a chance of some thunderstorms later this evening. And look at how hot it is for a lot of our inland areas already. San Jose is at 87 degrees. It is 90 in Livermore and in Dublin. And it's 80 in Sonoma, 85 in Santa Rosa. While San Francisco is still in the mid-60s after that record heat yesterday. Yesterday. Here's a look at our high temperatures for this afternoon, reaching 82 in San Mateo. Still very warm there, Oakland reaching 84, and then we'll trend more into the mid 90s for a lot of the inland valleys from Santa Clara Valley to the Tri Valley. But then tomorrow it's going to be muggy in the morning. But as the humidity drops, we're still going to reach into the low to mid 90s for tomorrow afternoon. And this is what I've really been concerned about watching all of this monsoonal moisture it's really surging into Southern California around the Bakersfield area of high concern. All of these lightning strikes that we're seeing being picked up here with very little rain. What happens as this moisture starts to move into the Central Valley, we'll start to see more clouds, but also higher humidity. That's going to raise our heat index. And even though the actual number of the temperature won't be higher, it's going to feel just as hot as yesterday. And with these lightning strikes, we have the potential of thunderstorms with just a little bit of rain. We've been talking about how dry the vegetation is, and just one lightning strike could spark off new wildfires, even with a little bit of some spotty showers moving Moving through. We do have the highest chance of seeing them in the South County and some of our hills over the South Bay as we go into late tonight into early tomorrow. And once again, we're waking up to high humidity. This is basically the remnants of a tropical system. It gets pushed into the areas just around the Bay Area. As you see this water vapor imagery, areas of green show high humidity. And so we're watching out for that as it comes in. But it does look like a lot of the lightning chances that we'll see will be just off to the east, but once again needs to be watched very closely because of how close it is moving to the Bay Area. Our temperatures in the upper 90s today, and even as the humidity drops, we're only reaching into the uh, low 90s for the next several days. So we're not seeing much of a cool down here except for San Francisco, which has a really nice weekend ahead, and our coastal areas will feel much more comfortable than what we'll feel in the valleys. Marcus.